of the border battle, a county in New Mexico declaring a state of emergency demanding the state's governor deploy the National Guard. Now, some private citizens are taking things a step further. Jonathan Hunt live from our West Coast newsroom this morning. Jonathan. Good morning, Sandra. Ground zero for the border battle seems to shift on an almost weekly basis. California one week, Arizona another, Texas, and now New Mexico, where private citizens are apparently acting as vigilante groups, stopping and detaining immigrants. As you can see in this video, the men and women dress in military-style uniforms, they carry weapons, and appear on video that we've listened to to identify themselves as police officers when they find immigrants who have crossed the border in remote areas. They then detain those immigrants while calling the real Border Patrol agents. They call themselves the United Constitutional Patriots. We're simply out here documenting and helping a stressed and overstrained Border, border Patrol that, believe it or not, needs our help. And you guys have seen how well we work together. Okay, there's no issues there. Um, we get along great with Border Patrol, they get along with us, we work together, and yada, 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 so whatever. The ACLU has written to the governor of New Mexico saying, quote, the Trump administration's vile racism has emboldened white nationalists and fascists to flagrantly violate the law. This has no place in our state. We cannot allow racist and armed vigilantes to kidnap and detain people seeking asylum. We urge you to immediately investigate this atrocious and unlawful conduct. While the governor issued a statement herself saying, quote, if migrant families are made to feel threatened, that's completely unacceptable, and it should go without saying that regular citizens have no authority to arrest or detain anyone. Now, the vigilante action comes as U.S. Border Patrol reports a surge of migrant families crossing into New Mexico, with 720 migrants detained in one 24-hour period just this week. In February, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham withdrew National Guard troops from the border there saying that President Trump's claims of a crisis were not true. Sandra? Jonathan Hunt, thank you.